in the previous class we discussed about how we can uh, solve the k map suppose i have any function and if that function is given then uh, those function can be solved with the two way like the first way was just by applying all the boolean's law all the boolean theorem which we have studied before and the second law was the uh, second way was the uh, k map okay so if you see the k map was a simpler way than the boolean algebra kind of approach because uh, in the boolean algebra you need to uh, simplify each step by applying some of the law some of the theorems but if we have the k map in that case you don't need to apply any of the uh, boolean's law just you have to make the pair of ones or zeros uh, based on whether it is sop or pos and then based on that you can directly get the final uh, simplified output or simplified function okay so this was the benefit of k map which we have studied before we saw also one thing like in the previous uh, session like as we keep on increasing the number of variables like see up to four variable the k map was very good okay so we were able to perfectly solve the problem or perfectly solve the function uh, if the number of variables are four somehow we were also able to solve if the number of variables are five okay so this was also possible a little bit but yeah a little bit difficulty was there to find the proper pair in the both the uh, uh, both the sides okay so what happens if the number of variables are keep on increasing in that case the cape map becomes a difficult like if we saw in the previous slide if you see uh, in the previous slide in the uh, for the variable six variable k map uh, this much of complexity will be there okay so this is how it is complex and how you need to frame it and how you need you need to make the pair of ones uh, or the zeros okay so this becomes somewhat difficult especially if the number of variables are more okay so to overcome that problem there is one more alternative other than the boolean algebra or boolean theorem based or boolean law based uh, and the k map based the, that method we call it queen mccloskey method okay so the queen mccloskey method is that gives you the uh, the simplified function of any of the given function uh, if the number of variables are more okay so this is the importance of this one okay and uh, this method is can be easily like uh, applicable uh, for any of the function which we have okay uh, this queen mccloskey method uh, is also known as the method of prime implicant or uh, table layer method so uh, there are three names for this process or this uh, this method that we call it the method of prime implicant or the tabular method or tabulation method is also we can also call them the tabulation method <coughs> okay so basically uh, uh, this particular method whatever we are discussing queen mccloskey method uh, this involves two steps okay the first step is finding all the prime implicants of that function okay so whatever the function we have that we have to find all the prime implicants and the second one is to find the essential prime implicant of the function as well as other prime implicants uh, that are necessary to cover the function using prime implicants okay so these are the two uh, steps or two method that are are required uh, while solving any of the function with the help of queen mccloskey method if i will tell you the rules and regulation then you will not be able to understand so let us try to quickly uh, take example and uh, with the examples i will tell you all the regulations okay so that will help simultaneously we can do the both uh, otherwise if i will tell you the regulation you will not be able to understand what i am saying okay so we'll consider some example and we will try to solve uh, that that question okay so uh, before that uh, what we need actually uh, suppose i have a four variable number okay so uh, if i have a four variable number let us assume that number is a b c d okay so this is let us assume this is the function okay so what are all the possibilities that i can have in this a b c d what are all the possible combinations with the four uh, four variables can anyone tell me how many possible combinations could be there if i have four variable then what is the maximum number of possibilities next possibility if you see here 
the possibilities are that it starts from 0, 0, 0, 0, and that we can get it up to 1, 1, 1, 1. So these are the maximum, uh, all the possibilities, right? Total possibilities are 2 to the power 4, that is 16. So total 16 possibilities are there. But can, if, if we see all these numbers, like from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, all the numbers have not a similar kind of pattern are not equal number of ones or equal number of zeros. If you see for the uh, binary equivalent of zero, like what, whatever the zero we have, it has zero number of ones. If you see the binary for zero, 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 one, which is the equivalent uh, decimal one. So here I see one, one is there. If we see the binary equivalent of zero, zero, one, zero, which is for two, Again, I have uh, the number of one is one in this pattern. Similarly, you can also calculate like if you see zero, zero, one, one, next one, next pattern. Here, the number of ones are two. Okay. So the first step to solve the queen McCloskey method or to apply the queen McCloskey method uh, to solve any of the function, we have to group all the possible combinations which, is, which are there in based on the number of ones are available in that pattern okay so suppose uh, this is the first step that we have to do grouping the grouping based on the number of ones present in the mean term okay so see here uh, if we see uh, for the four variable first possibility could, could be there is no one present second cause possibility could be uh, any one of the bit is logic high Okay. Second possibility could be any two bits are high. Third possibility could be any three bits are high. And the fourth possibility could be all the bits are high. Okay. So like these are the total five possible combinations. First one is all zero. Second one is any one is one. Any two is one. Any three is one. And all fours are one. Okay. So the total possible grouping that we can make is the five groups. Okay. So uh, the first group could be the number of min terms, uh, number of ones in the min term, that could be zero. Second possibility could be number of min terms uh, with one, one, then two, then three, and then four. If you see, what are those combinations which fall in all these groups? Okay. So the, in the first group, uh, only one possible combination is there and that is 0, 0, 0, 0 and that is equivalent to 0. Okay. Similarly, if you talk about uh, uh, the, the uh, first one, so the first possible combination is 0, 0, 1, uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, which is equivalent to 1. Second possible combination, possible could, uh, possibility could be 0, 0, 1, 0, that is equivalent to 2. Third possibility could be 0, 1, 0, 0, that is equivalent to 4. And the fourth possibility could be 1, 0, 0, 0, and that is equivalent to 8. Okay. So these are the second, that these all numbers fall, comes into the second group. Now, if we talk about the third group, in the third group where the number of ones are 2, so, what are those possibilities? Can anyone tell me all those possibilities starting from uh, from beginning, like that that is uh, like from three? So that could be zero zero one zero uh, zero zero one one. This could be one of the possibility. Okay, and this is equivalent to three. What is other possibility? Can anyone tell me? Zero zero one one zero zero one one. 0, what is the equivalent decimal of this one? 6. 6, perfect. Next. 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1. What is the equivalent of this one? 5. 5. What other possibilities? 1, 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, 0, 1. What is the equivalent of this one? 9. 9. What other numbers? One one zero zero. One one zero zero. What is equivalent of this one? Twelve. Twelve. Perfect. What other numbers? One zero zero one. 
वन जीरो जीरो वन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन इट वन जीरो जीरो वन यू ऑलरेडी डन इट ओके ओके सो लेट अस कंप्लीट ऑल अदर थिंग्स एंड व्हाट एवर द नेक्स्ट लेफ्ट दैट वी कैन इंप्लीट इंक्लूडेड इन द थर्ड सो फॉर फोर्थ वी हैव द ओनली पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन दैट इज वन 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 राइट सो दिस इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन व्हाट अबाउट थ्री so if you write let, let me simply write it otherwise you need to find it all the possible combinations right so uh, <coughs> it will start from 0000001001010001011010101011 okay so this is one one possibility and the second possibility just i have to replace this msv with the one okay so uh for uh two number of ones we can have this possibility this possibility this possibility okay so we zero zero one zero zero one one is fine then zero one zero one zero one zero one we have taken and then zero one one zero we have taken zero one one zero we have taken now after replacing it with one so number of ones which we have that will become the two like see here so uh this will become 1001 1001 we have taken uh this will become 1010 so 1010 we have taken or not we have not taken okay so 1010 will be there and this is equivalent to uh 12 uh oh, sorry no uh 10 this is equivalent to 10 okay and then uh, this one 1100 that we have already considered yeah so these are all the possible combinations okay now if we talk about three number of ones so the first possibility could be this one okay so this is 0111 and this is equivalent to 7 the second possibility could be like uh, uh, who was with two number of ones this one this one and this one then that the, those will become the Three bit. If I will apply, uh, change the MSB, so that will become one zero one 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 zero one one means eleven. Okay. Next, if you talk about this one 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 zero one, so one one zero one. This is equivalent to thirteen um, and one 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 zero one 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 zero. This is equivalent to fourteen. Okay. so now we got all the numbers <coughs> which are grouped based on the number of ones okay so this is the first step that you have to follow now let us let us consider the example and try to solve all those things suppose i have a function that is given something like this okay i have any function uh, this is very long function yeah is still i have a four variable so this is possible to solve in uh, with the help of kmap but i am trying to solve this function With the help of uh, tabular method or the Kolmogorovsky uh, method, okay. So, what is the first step to do? We know that we have to group all the numbers in uh, based on the number of ones, okay. So, so the group number assignment. So, so the first step is assign the group number to all the min terms which we have, okay. So, whatever what what min terms we have, the first min term we have is W bar. x bar y bar z bar okay second one is w bar x bar y bar z third one is w bar x y z bar fourth one is w bar x y z next one is w x bar y bar z next one is w x bar y z bar w x y bar z w x y z bar and the last one is w x y and z okay so these all are the min terms which we have if we see the binary equivalent of all these one so the binary equivalent of the first one will become 0 0 0 0 binary equivalent of second one will become 0 0 0 1 Binary equivalent of this one will become zero one one zero zero. Ah, uh, second term W bar x y bar z. Okay. Where? If 
हेलो सर मेन टर्म में सेकंड टर्म डब्ल्यू बार एक्स वाई बार जेड है डब्ल्यू एक्स आ सॉरी आई मिस इट ओके फाइन सो दिस विल बिकम वन ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज लाइक जीरो वन 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 जीरो जीरो वन वन जीरो वन जीरो वन वन जीरो वन एंड देन वन 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 जीरो द लास्ट वन इज वन 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 so this is what the uh, numbers are if we talk about a minimum number so this this is equivalent to binary zero so that we call it it is n zero the next one is like it, it is same as uh, uh, five so we can call them the n five okay the next one is equivalent to six so this is n six next one is m seven next one is m nine okay next one is m Then, then uh, the next one is M thirteen. M thirteen. The next one will become M fourteen, and the last one becomes M fifteen. So these are the min terms numbers. Now, if we talk about all the groupings, like number of ones in the min term, here we have. Yeah, let me change the color so that you will be able to understand properly. Uh, the number of ones in the first one, this is zero. Number of Once in the second one, that is two, two, three, two, two, three, three, and four. So, uh, based on the number of ones, I need to assign the group numbers. Okay. So, what is the group number? So, the we need to start from the lowest uh, number of ones. Okay. So, with zero, I will assign group one. Okay. Uh, there is no pos there, there there is no combination where we are getting the uh, one one uh, in any of the pattern okay so that we will leave that one the second one will be like if uh, i need to find how many combinations are there with uh, two ones so this will become at the second assignment this is also second and okay uh, so this will be also be the group two this is group two yeah this is these all are and comes under the second group now i need to find the third group this is 3 3 3 3 3 fourth group will be 4 remember the number of min terms uh, number of ones in the min term is not same as the assigned group number okay so assigned group number depends on how many ones are there and we need to follow the ascending one like see here uh, i had zero ones in here so that will come under group 1 Uh, if there there is any possible combination like zero one zero zero, so uh, the number of one is one. So this will come under the group number two because in this expression, uh, these kind of combinations are missing. So those those will not be considered. But in other examples, like if there are uh, some combinations with one one in any of the pattern, so the, those will like those groups uh, those number will be assigned as a group two and so on that we have to follow. Okay, so the maximum group uh, with the four four variable could be like five. okay which we have studied in the previous slide okay so this is the first step that we have to follow now the second step is whatever the the things which we have done uh, that we have to group based on the uh, ascending order whatever the number of uh, ones we have okay so because if you see here i have 1 2 2 2 then 3 then 2 so what i have to do i have to uh, rearrange all these numbers accordingly whatever we have so this is how we can rearrange or uh, in the ascending order so uh, the first group in the first group i will have a number like 0000 in the second group i have 1 2 3 1 2 four numbers so this is 5 m5 m6 m9 and m10 m10 this will come under the group 2 group 3 are like this one m7 Uh, M thirteen, M fourteen. So these are comes under a group three, and the last one is group group four, which is the M fifteen. Okay. So this is what we have to consider. So this is what the second step we need to follow. Okay. Uh, so is there any doubt, anyone? If you have any doubt, you can tell me. Otherwise, we can move ahead. So this is the first step that uh, based on the min terms. Similarly, the similar kind of uh, thing will be applied for the. Um, uh, <clears throat> maximum as well so i will tell you later on okay so this is what we have done now 
let us talk about uh, what is the next step okay once we are ready with the uh, ascending order then uh, the next step is to uh, find the prime implicates okay how to find the prime implicates so let us do one by one if you see here we had four groups okay uh, in the group 1 i have a number which is 0000 in group 2 i have the uh, 5 6 7 and 10 remember this thing that will be used in the next slide okay so 5 6 9 and 10 is in group 2 Seven, thirteen, and fourteen are in group four, uh, group three, and fourteen are in the fourteen uh, is in the group four. Okay, so let us consider those things and try to make uh, try to find the prime implicates. So the first uh, there was one number which was in the group number one. Okay, so I will assign the group one. There was uh, uh, four numbers in group two. Okay, so one, two. Three, uh, four. Okay, these are in the group two. There was one number in group four. Okay, and there was three number in group three. I have left blank to these two spaces. Okay, then you may have asked like, what is the use of this one? I will tell you what is the importance of this one. Okay. so please wait i will tell you why i have left like two column uh, two rows here okay now if we talk about the the first group that we have uh, like the first group was 0000 okay the first number was 0000 and that was equivalent to decimal 0 the second one was like uh, uh, 5 6 9 and 10 these were the number in group 2 So the five is equivalent to zero one zero one. Okay. The if we talk about the next six, he is like zero one one zero, and the next number was nine. Like uh, that, that will become one double zero one, and the last number was ten. Uh, that was one zero one zero. This is equivalent to ten. Okay. So this was the group. Now. uh let us talk about the for uh, group 3 we had number 7 13 and 14 uh, so for 7 that will become 0 1 1 1 this is equivalent to 7 for 13 that will become uh, 1 1 0 1 1 so this is equivalent to 13 uh the next one is like 1 1 1 0 this is equivalent to 14 and the fifth uh, the next group was 1 1 1 1 this was equivalent to 15 So these were the number. Now the next step is very important that you have to remember what I am saying. We have to make the pair with uh, the next group. Suppose I am considering group number one, so I can make the pair at next next group, which is the group two. I cannot make the pair of group one with group two. So this is not possible. This, this grouping is not possible. Okay. but this is the first step which i have to do that i have to make the group with the next group. like uh, the, like the, the one can make the group with two, two uh, the the two uh, the numbers in the group two can make the pair with the uh, group three and so on okay but this is the first thing second thing is the number of bit change should be one not more than that okay so we can uh, again make the pair with the numbers if the number of bit change is only one first step i just told you i can make the pair with the next next group okay so uh, the group 1 can make the pair with group 2 group 2 can make the pair with group 3 group 3 can make the pair with group 4 okay this was the first condition and the second condition is uh, Uh, we need to find the number of ones or like number of changes in the digit should be one not more than one okay so let us see here if you see the first case if i want to make the uh, group with uh, like pairing with group 1 and group 2 so see here i can make pair with this one i can make pair with this one and i can make pair with this one and the last one i can make pair with this one so can the pairing is possible this uh, this uh, with these numbers can anyone tell me is the pairing is possible no sir not possible because if you see 
in the first one we have all zeros and in the second one two digits are one so the bit differences are two two bit differences are there so i cannot make pair with group one and group two one and two pairing is not possible okay so if any so so what uh, like the the only possibility to make the pair with group one is with group two and because this pairing is not possible we, uh, now we do not need to consider this number for the next pairing okay so this number which is not uh, which like the pairing is not possible those numbers becomes the prime implicants okay so this is what we got the first prime implicant because there is no further pairing is possible with this one like with this group one so we can call them the uh, prime implicants now let us try to make the pair with group two and group three okay so if i'm making the pair with let us start with five and seven this is the first possibility second possibility could be five with 13 third possibility could be five with 14 so this is the first possible second possibility uh, possibility could be six with seven six with 13 and uh, uh, six with 14 similarly nine with seven 13 14 and and so on so let us try to make those pairs okay so that that we will do in the step number two okay so let us do it okay if i'm making the pair with five and seven if you see here i have a number zero one zero one and here i have a number zero one 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 so uh, the second digit from the right is different okay so the uh, like this msb is same this bit is same the lsb is same but here this particular bit is different than this five okay so the bits which are different i need to put cross symbol on that okay so here if you see zero one and cross and zero uh, sorry cross and one so this is the outcome of the pair which is five and seven is there any doubt how i did this if this you know then you will be able to solve other things okay so let us say see it again so that you can i then, then after i can make it uh, directly okay so if you see the five and seven here we have the first msb is same the second one is also same third one is not same fourth one is also same like lsb is same so the digit which are not same i need to put cross and rest all will be same and then i have to write like this okay so the pairs which we have covered in the grouping like even though if it is grouped or it is used for ones so that we need to put a tick mark on those numbers so i have covered five and seven yeah next possibility is also there like we can make the six and seven is also possible or five and thirteen is also possible so let us uh, try to make the pair with five and thirteen five and thirteen is possible can anyone tell me five and thirteen is possible or not possible sir possible 5 and 13 is possible so uh, the most significant bit is different rest all other bits are same so that will be like cross 1 0 1 and that will be 5 and 13 now 5 and 14 is possible so now if you see here 13 is also used in pairing so we need to tick it even though if it is used once uh, we need to tick them let us try to make 5 and 14 5 and 14 is possible? No. Sir, we can make all the possible pairs from the same digit. From the same digit means what? Sorry. Like 5 and 7, 5 and 13. Yeah. We use twice, uh, sir, 5. Twice, uh, 5 and 5. No, it's not like No, that. sir, no, sir. <laughs> like, uh, sir, we have paired with 5 and 7 and 5 and 13 also. Yes, yes, yes. This is possible. So, what I just said. Uh, like if i am considering the the group 2 so the the all the possible combination of with the group 2 need to try with the group 3 like all the possible with the 3 so uh, 5 with 7 5 with 13 5 with 14 the next try will be 6 with 
seven, six with thirteen, yes, and six with fourteen. So this is how we need to consider. Got it, sir. Okay. So, uh, so five and thirteen is possible. Five and fourteen is not possible, right? Because if you see five and fourteen, uh, uh, more than one digits are changed. Okay, so five and fourteen is not possible. So we will not consider that one. Now let us go to the six and consider six and try to make the pairing with uh, uh, pairing with the seven. So six and seven, I will consider this one and I will try to make the pair with the next group. So six and seven is possible. Yes, six sir. and seven is possible. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, perfect. Six and seven is possible. So that will come like zero, one, one, cross, and six and seven group is possible. Six and thirteen is possible. Yeah. So now six is also considered. Six and thirteen is possible. Mm, yes, sir. Six thirteen is not possible. Six fourteen is possible. Yes, sir. Yes, six fourteen is possible, and that is coming around like right. cross one one zero. So this is the group six fourteen. Okay, next group. Yeah, so fourteen we have covered here. Now we need to make the pair with nine. So nine and seven is possible. No sir, not possible. Okay. Nine thirteen. Possible. Nine and thirteen is possible. Yes, of course. Yes, that will yes. come like one. Cross zero one and the group is nine and thirteen. So now the nine is also covered. Uh, nine and fourteen is possible. No, sir. no, not possible. Okay, now let us consider the tenth. So ten and seven is possible. Ten and seven is possible. No, sir. No. Ten and thirteen. Yes, sir. Ten and thirteen. No, sir. No, sir. No. Not possible. No, sir. Ten, Ten and fourteen. Possible. Ten and fourteen is possible, right? So I will get one cross one zero, and this is the pairing with ten and the fourteen. So ten is also covered here. So if you see here, the first one was the prime implicate. Uh, now all these, like now I need to make the pair with group three and group four. Okay, how can I make the pair with? So yeah, so now you you got to know like uh, whatever the space I left over here, those are utilized. So this is the importance why I left. So uh, you can uh, always uh, keep some space between two groups so that the next coming numbers in the groups can be placed there. Okay, so. Now let us try to make the pair with uh, seven and fifteen. Seven fifteen is possible. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Seven fifteen. Uh, so because the in all possible combination there are uh, only one digit, uh, digit change. So all the groups are possible, like seven fifteen, thirteen fifteen, and fourteen fifteen. Okay. So that will become like cross uh, one one one. So this is all about seven fifteen. Next one could be like uh, one one cross one, so this will become thirteen and fifteen, and next one will become one 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 cross that will be fourteen and fifteen. Okay, so if you see here, uh, all the uh, the min terms in step number two which we got are paired now. Okay, now we come to the step step number two. Now the, we have to follow the same process for other others as well. Okay, so because these are the numbers, these are the some numbers which comes under uh, this stage. Like I need to make pair of these numbers with these numbers. Okay, why I am doing like this? Because if you see in the first group the number of ones are two, and in the second group the number of ones are three. So I need to make pair with this one with this one. Okay. So yeah, these are the two groups that we have to frame. So let me highlight them so that yeah. So this is the first group and this is the second group that we have to consider. Now let us do one by one. The first pairing could be possible like uh, uh, five seven with seven fifteen. Okay. Second group could be like five seven with thirteen fifteen. third possibility could be like 5 7 with the 14 15 and so on so we have to match like what are the maximum all the possible combinations which are valid okay so let us try to see it okay so can anyone tell me whether uh, 5 7 7 5 7 15 group is possible 
there should be only one chain, right? So not five, possible. seven, ten, fifteen is possible. Not, not possible. possible. Uh, five, seven, thirteen, fifteen is possible. Possible. Yes, perfect. It is possible because see here, five, seven, thirteen, fifteen. We have uh, the MSB is changed. Rest all other bits are same. Okay, so we can make the pair of five, seven, and thirteen, fifteen, and that will come like because the MSB is changed. So MSB will again becomes the cross. Okay, so that will become the cross one, cross one, and this is the uh, the pairing of uh, five, seven. 13 and 15 uh, next one 5 7 uh, 14 15 is possible 5 7 14 15 no sir not possible now let's consider the second one 5 13 7 15 is possible yeah we have already done it right if you see here 5 7 13 15 yeah this is what we have already done 5 7 13 15 so uh, this is already considered so this is considered and this one and this is uh, the second one is considered okay and if you see here if i want to make the pair with 5 13 and 7 15 so this is also possible this is also done okay so uh, and uh, th this is the same way what we can do so 5 13 is also considered and 7 15 is also considered here if you see this one the the, the third stage that also consider the five fifty uh, seven fifteen. Okay, five thirteen and fourteen fifteen is possible. Five thirteen fourteen fifteen. This one with this one is it possible? No, sir. Not possible. Now let us consider the second one. Uh, uh, six seven and uh, seven fifteen. This is not mm. possible. No. Okay, six seven with thirteen fifteen. Not possible. Not possible. 6 7 with 14 15 possible yes it is possible so we need to make it like the number will come something like cross 1 1 cross and that is 6 7 14 and 15 okay so 6 7 14 and 15 is also considered now let us try to make the pair with uh, this one 6 14 7 15 is possible Already, yes. already exist. Okay, so this is already exists. So 614 will be considered here. Uh, 614, 1315 is possible. 613, 1415. Yeah, this one mm -hmm. with this one. This is not possible. 614, 1415 is not possible. Okay, then I have to consider the last two like uh, 913 with 715. Which of the other rest possible combination which are possible with 913? Not I cannot make pair with any of 913 cannot be make the pair with uh, any of these uh, with uh, group 3. Similarly, 1014 cannot be make the pair with any of these uh, group 3. Okay. So now if you see uh, 913 and 1014, we are unable to make the pair with next group. So now this becomes the next prime implicant. So this becomes prime implicant two, and this becomes the prime implicant three. Okay. Now because see, uh, the next group is not possible. All these are in uh, two number of phones are there. So the next there is no group like su such like this. So the rest, whatever the left we have, that will become the prime implicant. Yeah. Let me change the color so that I can we can easily identify. Uh, <clears throat> So this is prime implicant two, this is prime implicant three, this becomes the prime implicant four, and this becomes the prime implicant five. Is there any doubt in this slide? This is really very important slide actually. So if you know this thing, then you will be able to solve all these things. Okay. So this is how we can get the all prime implicants. Okay. Now, what we have to do? We have to leave all the things, just we have to consider only prime implicants. Okay. So the first prime implicant is 0, 0, 0, 0. Second prime implicant is 1 cross 0, 1. 1 cross 0, 1 means what? The, uh, the digit which is crossed, that will be removed. So here I have the combination like 
W X Y Z, right? So it, if the combination is like this, one cross zero one, so it will become W Y bar and Z. So this is nothing but this is equivalent to W Y bar Z. The the the, the digit which is crossed, we will remove it. Similarly, this is equivalent to W Y Z bar. Okay, this is equivalent to W Y Z bar. This is equivalent to uh, uh, x and z, and this is equivalent to x y. Okay, so this is these 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 are all the uh, prime implicants which we can represent. Okay, so let us consider all the prime implicants which we just uh, wrote here. Yeah, this this is the first prime implicant that is nothing but w bar x bar y bar z bar. Okay, so let us try to write all the prime implicants that we call it the minimal prime implicants okay so the minimum prime implicant is like the first uh, we have a five prime implicants p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 the first prime implicant was 0000, 0, 0, 0 okay so that we call it we can write is w bar x bar y bar z was second prime implicant was uh w y bar z then w y z bar then x z and then x y so let us try to write all these okay second was w y bar z third was w y z bar fourth one was x z and the fifth one was x y so these all are the prime implicants uh, if you see the decimal equivalent of this one so all if all are zero so uh, this comes from uh, decimal equivalent zero group. If you see here, uh, W, Y bar, Z, which is missing here, if you see, we have missing like uh, one cross, this was like one cross uh, zero one, this was the number. So what is the total possible combination with this one? If you see the second prime implicant, we can have one zero zero one, or we can have one one zero one. These are the two possibilities with this one. Okay, uh, and that that is what I have converted this one. This is the second prime implicant. Okay, so if you see this number is nothing but this is equivalent to nine, and this number is nothing but this is equivalent to thirteen. Okay, so the, here we can write this is nine and thirteen. Okay, any doubt on this? How I did this? So this is what uh, how it is simple. Uh, we can do it. And see, if you go into the previous slide, we have already made the group. Like, see here, this is 9, 13, 10, 14, and then 5, 7, uh, uh, 13, 15, and then 6, 7, 14, 15. We have already made the pair. So we don't need to remember anything, right? So just, I'm just telling you how we, have, we got it. But the second, third group, uh, third prime implicant could be like 10 and 14. Next one could be like 5. 7, yeah, this was 5, 7, 13, 15. And the last one was 6, 7, 14, and 15. Okay, so these are the groups which we have. Now, if you see, uh, I just directly wrote these numbers, but you don't need to write this number directly. You have to write based on the number digits or decimal digits which are present in this one. Okay, so the first decimal digit we can see here, zero is present so i need to write zero here second decimal digit like next decimal digit that is five is present here in the uh, in the in the fourth uh, prime implicant so five I, I need to write six is also also there in the fifth prime implicant so six i need to write seven is also there seven i need to write then then after nine is there so nine then 10 then 13 then 14 and then 15. So which number will come or which decimal equivalent will come, we need to check from these patterns or these groups, okay? So with, uh, whatever the decimal digits are present that we have to write over here, okay? So I did one step is advanced, but yeah, this is what you have to do, okay? So this is what you can do. Now let us try to see the, the digits which we are considering here. If you see here uh, in this column, Okay, uh, and if we see this decimal, only zero is there. 
so the the decimal which are present i need to make cross so this is what i have to make cross zero decimal is present in the first prime implicand so i will cross it now if you see this one in this uh, second prime implicand 9 and 13 are there so i will cross 9 and 13 in the next one i have 10 and 14 so i will cross 10 and 14 in the next one i have 5 7 13 and 15 so 5 7 13 and 15 in the next group i have 6 7 14 and 15 okay so this is how we can put the cross now what is the next step next step is we need to check how many columns are there with only one cross okay so we have uh, certain uh, groups which we can make here so let us try to do that if you see here this is uh one group where in in that column we have two crosses this is the one group this is the second group where we have a uh, two crosses this is the third group where we have a uh, crosses and this is the fourth group which we have a uh, crosses so we have certain groups where the uh, there are two cross in that particular column so we need to remove those things we need to consider only those uh, which are uh, Which are which are having only one cross. Okay, so this is the first, this is the second one, this is the third one, this is the fourth one, and this is the fifth one. And if you got all these things, then we need to write them like select all the min terms having only uh, one was there, only one column column was crossed. Then I have to write the function. Then after, okay, what will be the final function? W x y z this function is nothing but see here this min term is nothing but this is equivalent to w bar x bar y bar z bar plus if you see second one the second one is due to x z okay so x z will be considered x z plus third is uh, third one is due to x y okay fourth one is due to this one which is w y bar z w y bar z and the fifth one is due to w y z bar and this is the final simplified expression for the function whatever we had Okay